Good morning. I'm going to try that again for the class of 2022. Good morning. Thank you. You are the leaders in this building, so I shouldn't have to say good morning, but one good time. So I appreciate you indulging me two times. All right. So before we get started, I wanted to say that I'm exceptionally excited about being here for this class. Okay? Thank you. And there's two reasons why. First, you're going to be the last class of just Sun Prairie High School. And I get the honor of being with you during that journey. Yes. And so I'm excited about that. And then the second thing which makes me excited about being with this class is that I cannot wait to see the potential and the success that you're going to push out to our community, and I get to witness that. So I'm very excited about that. Right? So I was trying to follow the memo, and I put on my college shirt, and then I forgot it was picture day. Go figure. Trying to organize, right? That didn't work today. So before we get started, I wanted to give you just a headway of what our theme is this year and what we're striving for and what our goals are wrapped around um, Sun Prairie High School as a community that is on the rise. That we're gonna really try our best to restore relationships. We're gonna do our best to inspire you to be your best self. We're gonna reward success and look at it and see how that looks like and really be intentional about telling you how wonderful you are and how great that you're supposed to be and making sure that we remind you that. And the last part of that is encouraging. We all need encouragement. We all need a little grace, a little flexibility because we've had a couple of months that have not been the best and that we're very fortunate to have an opportunity to be in person and so we wanna make sure that we are encouraging each other along the way. So now we want to talk about the Cardinal Way. We've met with the sophomore class, we've met with the junior class, and we wanted to take this opportunity to meet with the top dogs, the senior class. Right? Woo woo! That's it. So, in part of looking at this, there was an essential question that came to mind that we want to make sure that at the end of this presentation, during these following months, at the end, is that we want to make sure that this question comes to mind and how are you answering it? And part of that is our job to help you with that. Is that how do you feel like you are part of this building? Are you a representative of the Sun Prairie High School? Do you feel like you have a place here? And if you do, great. If you don't, we're here to help you. You have to feel a part of this high school. This is your home away from home. So I'm going to get this opportunity for the rest of my staff to come and introduce themselves to you. And so my name is Renee Coleman, and I'm your principal. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Mrs. Walter. I'm one of the associate principals, and Mr. Wally couldn't be here with us this morning, but he's the other associate principal. Welcome. Hello, I'm Mr. Tell. I'm one of the deans of students, and I handle pretty much the first part of the alphabet. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Ms. King. I'm one of the other dean of students. I am new to the school, so if you see me looking confused, stop by, stand up and say, Miss King, do you know where you're going? I can help you. And introduce your name to me. I love learning names, and I love putting names to faces. So please stop me in the hallway, say hi to me. Um, and I work with students, I think last name's ML2Z. So my name is Miss King, and connect with me. Hello, 
Uh, my name is uh, Coach or Coach Singleton. I'm new to Sun Prairie as well. Uh, I coach uh, high school basketball and travel basketball, but I'm also hired here to be a youth advocate. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I'm new, so feel free to say hello. Uh, I go by Coach or Coach Singleton. Good morning. My name is Erin Casty. I'm one of your youth advocates. This is my third year in the district, but my first year here, so I am learning the building. Please be patient while I do that. It is, I'm so excited to be here with you guys. If you have any questions, uh, if I can do anything to make your last year of high school better, please let me know. All right. So our hopes today is to make sure that we help you start off strong, that we help you understand how to be successful in this building that we're encouraging to, for you to make the necessary connections that you need to make. Also, we wanna talk about the cafeteria. We wanna talk about restorative endings, making sure that you start well, end well. And then we wanna give you some um, helpful guidelines in regards to the inspirational activities and athletics, because we had a game and we just wanna make sure we review some rules. Yeah, that game. Um, which I'm excited because our football team won, and it's just so amazing to be on a, in a school the way the team wins. Previous school, I was with, uh, I was a pretzel, go figure, food, and we used to lose. So, um, when we talk about um, Sun Prairie High School, we talk about the Cardinal Way. And there's three things that are very simple, very specific, and, and definitely tells us how we're supposed to operate here in the high school. The first thing is being respectful. And that is twofolded. We're asking for students to be respectful to every adult in this building. And in return, we're asking for staff to be respectful to every student in the building, right? Second thing is being responsible, also twofolded. Being responsible means getting to class on time, being ready to learn, asking for help, being responsible. Staff members' responsibility is to make sure you feel valuable, make sure that you feel like you belong in their classroom, and also making sure that they're ready to give you instructional information to help you be your best self. The last thing is safe, be safe. And that's very important, especially to me. As an administrator in this building, be safe is very dear to my heart and very personal for me. Because I do not wanna have to make that phone call to your caregiver and say that they did not do the most respectful, responsible activity in this building. If you didn't know, my previous role was in Chicago Public Schools and I was an administrator in the building and I always preached safety, safety, safety. And then I had some students who went to McDonald's. And on their way to McDonald's, we had an emergency evacuation and we had to empty out that building. And we're searching for those students. And so it got to be the point where we said, some staff members back in, police went back in, firefighters went back in, and I was so upset because not only are we um, endangering their lives, I was worried about the students, and when I found out they was at McDonald's, I was like, okay, great, they were safe, but it wasn't safe. So we have to practice safety. That means if you're supposed to be in class, be in class. And what Mr. Ertel shared with me earlier, he said, what I'm so proud is, is that the seniors are going to class. Thank you. Yes, they're going to class. That you're not sneaking out, using the doors unsafely by letting your friends out. And I thank you because the safety is important. We never know. We never know. And I do not want to be the principal who has to call your caregiver and say, hey, I don't know what happened to your daughter, your son. They were in class, but they wasn't in class, and they wasn't doing the responsible, respectful thing. So I need you to practice safety. Now that I say that, I did not remind 
I'm talking, so I am unmasked. But if you are not talking, which you're not, please mask up all the way to your nose, under your chin, please, for our safety. Right? I'm gonna move it along, and then now I'm passing it over to Ms. Mark. Thank you. Uh, so 8 a.m. comes pretty early, right? I have a senior at home, uh, and I know how the morning starts slowly. But we still do start class at 8 a.m. And whether you're coming on a bus, whether you're driving yourself or walking, we need you to be aware of 8 a.m. That's you getting into class on time in your seat by 8 a.m., not walking through with your coffee at 8 a.m. So we just want to really help you be mindful of getting to class, all classes on time. Your teachers have spent a lot of time preparing lessons and opportunities for you to get to know the teacher and to know your, your fellow colleagues, your fellow peers in class. So getting there on time helps you get engaged, helps you build those relationships and get access to all that learning that they have. So please make sure that you are on time and prepared. That includes all five blocks. So first hour counts for attendance, advisory counts for attendance, right? We, second block, third block, fourth block. All of those are your five attendance periods. So you wanna make sure you're getting to each of those classes on time. When you get to class, please come with a fully charged Chromebook. Plugging that in every night is part of your routine. I know most of you come with fully charged phones. Plug your Chromebook in right next to that phone so that when you get here, your Chromebook's ready to go and you can access all the materials that are in the Google Classrooms your teachers have shared with you. So those are two things that we're just asking for you to do, right? Come to class on time and be prepared to learn. Thank you. Good morning, seniors. I'm sorry I'm late. Uh, Mr. Wally, one of the associate principals, and I missed the introductions here, so it's nice to see many of you. It's been a couple years, but I see a lot of familiar faces, so thanks for being here. Um, we talk a lot about attendance, but also in addition to just being in class, we want you to be engaged in your classes. So teachers thrive on your engagement, and I know you want them to engage you, and I think we've all probably sat through classes where we felt really part of the learning and part of the part of the class and others where we just kind of sit quietly and get it. So we encourage you to engage as much with your teachers as we encourage our teachers to try to engage you, whether that's through discussion or asking questions or being active in the activities or the labs that you're doing. Um, part of that is engaging your classmates and your peers as well. It's not just you and your teacher. So part of that cardinal way, we talk about being an active listener and valuing each other, celebrating each other. Uh, you can do that the more you get to know your peers and participate in your classes with them. Um, we ask you to also advocate for yourself. A lot of times uh, students will come to Mr. Tell and Kong and myself and they have a concern with the teacher and our first question is, did you talk to the teacher? And a lot of times it's no. So start with your teachers. You spend the most time with them than anybody in the building. They want to get to know you. Um, we want you to get to know them. That's all part of that kind of engagement. And as you know, by a senior year, the more you know your teachers, um, the more pleasurable classes to sit through and be in and part of that learning. Um, if you don't know something and your teacher can't answer it, the, one, one of the reasons we're doing this meeting today is so you know some additional resources in the building and you can come talk to us, ask for help, um, let us know what you're struggling with or what you're concerned about. Uh, we all want you to enjoy being in school and part of that is we can't help you unless you let us know what you need. Um, so that's a huge part of that too. As we just complimented you on your classroom uh, attendance, and, and I want to thank you for that as well, in addition to Mr. Tell, you are leaders in the building. Um, some of our favorite moments, I think, are when we get seniors that kind of, I remember last year at lunch, one of them said, like they pointed to kind of a group of sophomores that were all over the place, and they said, I used to be one of those. Remember how annoying I was to you? <laughs> so it was just a little success to see that maturity set in. And so I'd lean on you for your leadership. Um, you know, have a pass, you know the system by now, have a pass if you need to be out and about in class, that way we won't bother you and you can just take care of what you need to do. And uh, I think all of us up here like working with high schoolers because we can treat you like adults um, and we basically give, try to give the same we get. So the more you work with us and, and act like a, a young adult, the more we enjoy treating you like a young adult 
kind of give you that, that respect and that freedom. So please keep that up. Be leaders in our school. Um, show the sophomores and juniors kind of what's expected now that you've kind of figured that out. And we'll, we'll keep passing along the uh, success. All right. Um, I'll go quickly here. First of all, nice job this morning. Seniors, juniors get a little bit of credit. But I think we only had about four people park in the wrong parking spots this morning for the first time. So not bad. Pretty good job. So keep that up. So again, just make sure you're checking your tag. You park in the right spot. If someone's in your spot, park in visitor. Let us know in the main office. We will look up their plates, have them come down and move so you get your spot. So thank you. Along, the, along with that, um, it's a full house this year uh, in, in the high school. We've got over 1,800 students. Um, and I need your help and your leadership in the cafeteria. Um, we are short-staffed in the kitchen. We only have about four people um, who are, wiping are, are here to wipe down and clean up tables after lunches. And that's a lot of tables to wipe down and sanitize before the next lunch comes in. So as much as you can, please clear your tables, remind your friends or others that you're sitting with to clean up their mess so that we can get the tables cleaned and wiped up, the floor cleaned and wiped up, so all of you have a nice sanitized place to eat your lunch and relax for a half an hour before you got to go back to class. It's been a little dirty this first week, and we really need your help and your leadership, especially with the underclassmen, to make sure they're doing the right thing and, and picking up their mess. So that's what I have for you there. All right, so I know you all are seniors, and you probably know who your counselor is, who your teachers are, but I still want you to know that we are here to help you if you need it. So I'm here to tell you that we are encouraging connections. I'm new here. I want to get to know you. So connect with me. Connect with your teachers, your advisory, your homeroom teachers, the nurse if you need to, the librarian, Ms. Judy, your youth advocates, Ms. Erin, and Coach Eddie, as well as student services. Your, so your social worker and your counselors. You can reach out to me. Again, my name is Ms. King, Mr. Attell, you know already, Mr. Wally, you know, and Ms. Walters, um, and Ms. Coleman. So connect with us. We're here to support you and make sure that you have a successful senior year. <laughs> This, this never moves for me. Oh, here we go. So just some quick notes on the end of the day. Seniors um, that ride the bus, you know that it's been a little crazy, especially door 16. We're super short bus drivers. If you follow the news, you probably heard Madison actually had to adjust some of their bell schedules because they're so short of drivers. We're also short of drivers. So the buses that go to door 16, I know that it's a little bit annoying because they're late but they have to run an entire elementary route before they come to the high school to pick you up and run a high school route. So that's why they're late. So you're welcome to hang out in the commons a little bit after school if you're at door 16. I would be out there by 3.35 because sometimes they show up a little bit early and they don't wait too long because they want to get you home. So head out around 3.35, especially when it's hot out, and uh, hopefully that system will get a little bit smoother as the year goes on. Uh, drivers, I hope that you've been kind of leaving out the front of the lot. We, we kind of have a strategic system where parents are picking up, dropping off at door six right over here. Drivers are hopefully using door one and kind of using the front entrances. All of our buses are strategically placed in the back of the school and the side of the school to kind of go out the back. Um, while it doesn't seem faster that way, it does save you time because you're not causing traffic jams in the back of the school. So just please think about those routes as you, um, however you get to school dropped off bus, bus or drivers. And uh, we will have the activity bus resuming um, probably week three, and that will um, run Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and leave here at 420. So those of you that are in clubs, activities, or eventually we'll start fifth hour after school tutoring on those days, you will have, um, as long as you're a bus rider for a regular route, you qualify to be a bus rider for that activity bus. And I know we're almost out of time, and I don't want to forget the announcement that while we were in here, they called J through L for photography. So when we leave, the bell rings. Um, if you're a J through L and you did not get your picture taken at back to school registration, please take a right out of here. It's right behind this wall. Um, you can get your ID card printed and your picture taken today. If we missed you already, then just go get it taken while you're close by. 
Um, we're going to continue through the alphabet, and at the end, we'll do one final call for anybody that was missed, but keep listening to those announcements. They're going about two or three letters at a time throughout the morning to get those pictures made up. Mr. Thomas Swell, do you want to talk about athletics? Well, we had a successful football game uh, on last Thursday, so please make sure when you're at the football game, all the school rules that apply here in the school building also apply um, at any athletic or activity events you may be at. Um, Ashley Field is new, as you all know. It's a gorgeous stadium. Um, so please also be patient with our staff as we get to know that facility. And if you have questions, ask us so we can get you in the right place. Um, and I believe, uh, what do we have going on right now? Cross country, football, I'm gonna forget some volleyball. The whole, whole list of sports and activities. Um, so please treat the events with care. And again, if you do have questions at the new facility, let us know because we're all learning it together. And I'll leave you with a quote. I know the bell rang, so you're probably anxious to get to your second block. So it's wonderful seeing all of you and have a great start to the school year. <laughs>